If you're just starting out as a coach and or course creator, and you want to know how to make videos that keeps your audience around where they don't leave your video within like seconds so that they will actually get the help they need and come to know, like, and trust you enough so that they subscribe to your channel on YouTube, otherwise follow you on social media, get on your email list, and yes, buy from you when they're ready to. Well, this is a video for you. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Stacey Storino. Welcome back to my channel, the number one place to learn about crafting content that converts content consumers into actual customers. I've got eight years of experience coaching thousands of students across the world under my belt, and a lot of what I've seen has led me to create this video titled Professional Coach how to make videos that educate. But before we get started, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get the help that entrepreneurs like you need to succeed with content marketing that drives traffic to your business so that you can do more business. I recently did a video entitled Professional Coach, How to Make Videos That Entertain, which is part of my Professional Coach Growth Series playlist on YouTube. And you'll wanna make sure that you see that video and that playlist and all the videos on that playlist. In that last video, I walked you through how to actually create videos that are entertaining in a tasteful way, depending upon the main pain point your ideal customer struggles with, but also how to create videos that are engaging, how to create live streams that are engaging, and even tastefully entertaining to get more people to follow you, subscribe to you, get on your email list, and yes, hopefully buy your offerings from you too. So you gotta watch that video after this one. Now let's get into the topic of professional coach, how to make videos that educate. Okay, so here comes tip one, layer in some UVP. If you don't understand the concept of a niche or an ideal customer, and you're not sure how to narrow down in terms of the specific niche or ideal customer for your content, both free and paid, then you are definitely going to miss out on having that X factor that can make your education-based video content stand out from the crowd. If you need help in terms of narrowing down your niche and you don't even understand what a UVP or a unique value proposition even is, which is critical to your success as a content creator of any kind on any platform, then you also need to check out my video how to start as a professional coach. Because at the end of the day, if you're failing to really get traction on YouTube or on any given platform, if you're not narrowing down your niche so that your content, video, or otherwise is custom crafted for them so that you rise up out of the sea of sameness from the million other people attempting to woo over and sell to that niche, well, sorry, that's very likely got a lot to do with why you're currently failing to grow your audience and failing to grow your channel support, failing to grow the sales of your paid offerings, your donation, your AdSense revenue, whatever. So in order to educate people properly with your video-based content, you just must know your audience better so that you can create content that's more for people just like them. And then, and this is important, optimize your videos to be found and searched by people just like them. And then your channel or account on YouTube can gain channel authority for the keywords having to do with searches for content that's custom crafted like yours. Then you'll likely do better in terms of optimizing your titles, tags, and descriptions so that the YouTube algorithm will rank your videos higher in search. Plus, what you say conversationally in your voiceovers or what you say otherwise in your pre-recorded content will land with those specific people more. That will increase your conversions more, meaning more social media followers, more email list opt-ins, and more paid customers. Each niche has its own slang, its own in-jokes, its own concerns. You could layer that into your delivery as you're laying out whatever it is that you're teaching or showcasing in your videos. 
Why? Because this illustrates to the content consumer that you know them and you know what they like, what they don't like, what they need, and what pain they're going through that you can help them to get out of with your paid offerings. More conversions happen because more trust is created and more trust is created when your videos that educate folks shows that you understand them and their pain and their goals for their lives. How do you do this if you feel like you need help on this front? Well, you study them on other platforms, their reactions and comments on content, both yours and other people's who are important to your niche. And from studying the engagement with the content or lack thereof, you get to know what lands with your niche and what doesn't better. Really, this is key to what's going to get you into the winner's circle of growth and success as an entrepreneur. When people feel that a content creator of any kind gets them, they'll keep coming back for more. And over time, they get to know, like, and trust them more. And people buy from other people that they know, like, and trust. But now let's move on to tip two, use successful scripting. Anyone whose content has more of an education base bent to it should definitely focus on scripting educational videos out. This is everything. You don't have to script things out word for word if that doesn't fit your style. You could have bullet points, you could have three talking points per video and then a wrap up call to action, be it to subscribe to your channel, comment with questions down below about what you just taught or both. So know what your call to action is as you plan out your script. Don't just create content, wing it out there, and hope that it brings you con conversions. Ask for the conversions tastefully. Also, know that when it comes to educating an audience, remember to pace yourself. Maybe cover one tip, trick, or technique, or piece of advice per video. Creating videos on YouTube or anywhere else as a video creator of any kind isn't a sprint. It's a marathon. So don't go too far and too long in a video. Your audience will likely fatigue a whole lot faster that way. Don't overwhelm them with too much awesome knowledge. It's a rare ideal customer who can digest too, too much all at once. Plus, by pacing yourself with shorter, tighter, more concise videos, instead of long rambling ones that try to fit everything in all at once, you'll be able to create an entire playlist of videos, which YouTube, especially as a platform, loves in terms of its algorithms, especially when you optimize the playlist itself, just as well as you'd optimize your individual videos, keyword rich, without being keyword stuffed, titles, descriptions, and tags. So by going the concise one major lesson per video route, you won't overwhelm your audience. You're giving them a series to look forward to, which is very likely going to keep that audience coming back. And you're also not going to run dry in terms of content anytime soon. Pace yourself and everyone wins. But also when it comes to scripting, here's the deal. Make sure your videos start off with an enticing one sentence or 15 to 20 second or so hook where you tease the viewer with what you're going to teach them in this particular video. But you don't give up the goods or totally forecast where you're going to go with this content. Otherwise, they're gone. They already get the idea. No, tease them, entice them with like a quick elevator pitch for why they should watch. Make sure you encourage them to watch your video until the end because this depends upon what you're covering or teaching in this video. But you could just say, Maybe you're saving your best tip for last. You've got a way that they can actually score two perks for the price of one or whatever. But, you know, if your hook at the front of your video is really, at the end of the day, a spoiler, it won't help you. Yes, state what you're going to teach so the viewer knows they're in the right place, but then hint that there's so much more to this topic, they just got to see how you're going to do it. So, Think these things through and script out what you're going to record as voiceovers so that you're more likely to have people stick around for your entire video. That increases your watch time and YouTube's algorithm absolutely will reward you for that. And if you keep your ideal customer intrigued and really deliver as you teach them, 
whatever they came to learn in that video, well, they will reward you with that too in terms of conversions. They'll subscribe, they'll get on your email list, and when they're ready and able, they'll buy from you too. And now it's on to tip three, up the engagement factor. So I said this before in my previous video in this series, but I must say this again, just in case you missed that last vid. Look, people like to see the content creator. Faceless channels on YouTube and elsewhere don't normally anyway do so well or perform well. Consciously or subconsciously, we want to see the whites of the other person's eyes who's talking to us, talking with us, creating content for us. Otherwise, it's really hard to create a sense of rapport. So if you don't have a face cam, I'd prioritize getting one, but that's not all. I'd make sure that if I were you, I'd have expressive, like bold facial expressions and a lot of energy when you're on camera facing it, because for whatever the reason, the camera tends to drain off some of the energy. Like all of your energy doesn't necessarily translate 100% from your side of the camera as the creator to the other side of the camera as the audience member. So be bigger and maybe a little bit bolder and more expressive. Bring up your energy level a bit more than you'd normally have done and then Take a look at your content's analytics. I bet over time, as you're more comfortable doing this, you see an increase in your stats. Why? Because you seem more energetic without that kind of camera drain messing with your mojo. Make eye contact with the camera more, even if it's after, you know, you've done what you want to do in that video and address the viewer before going on to the next level. Or maybe you're wrapping up that particular video, but you're addressing the viewer and kind of really increasing the amount of engagement and attention that you give them. People love that sort of stuff. And yes, it does make a difference. And invite your viewers to comment on your videos with their questions, concerns, what have you about what you just taught, and then definitely comment back on their comments, engage with them, answer their questions, and address their concerns and they'll keep coming back because you've interested them. You're interested in them, they're gonna be more interested in you. And that is how you make videos that educate your ideal audience where you can also build loyalty and support, especially over time where they keep coming back to learn more and more from you. Now, that's a lot of information, so I wanna hear from you. What tips resonated with you in this video and why? Comment below. I do read your comments. And if you want more help in terms of distinguishing yourself from the crowd and increasing your trustworthiness in the eyes of your niche, I actually have a freebie for you to pick up called 10 Reasons Why You're Viewed as a Fake Guru and How to Gain Credibility and Customers Instead. And you can pick it up at don'tbeafakeguru.com. The link for you to score that freebie guide is in the show notes or the description down below. There you have it. You now have my answer. When it comes to the subject of professional coach, how to make videos that educate. Need more help? Be sure to check out these two awesome videos too, because they'll teach you great content marketing strategies that can also help to blow up your business. Enjoy. Thank <laughs> you.